Today I will give you the beginner guide to Neural Cloud. This video mainly helps newcomers to understand the game quickly and provides you with a general idea for the early game. I hope you like it. The following is the timeline of this video. Please watch it as needed. First of all, to introduce the core gameplay of the game, Neural Cloud is roguelike plus auto chess gacha game. The campaign is randomly generated according to the rules. Players can independently choose the path to the end, through the battle random events and other ways to get different functions to improve their own team, and ultimately defeat the boss. How to match your functions effectively has a very big impact on the game, the battle is automatic combat. Players can only control the support effect of tactical skills and moves, and all characters share the same energy. About the battle gameplay, the new tutorials are very detailed. I won't spoil it here. The second part gives you a brief introduction to the five occupations of the Neural Club. It is divided into five types. Tank, Shooter, Warrior, Recover, and Supporter. Tanks mainly play the role of front row absorbing damage. Skills are mainly to improve their own survivability or to attract fire. The Recover is mainly responsible for the team's healing. Different Recovers can also provide different kinds of buffs. Shooters usually as the back row output. Warriors usually as the front row output with no range advantage, but relatively more tanky. Supporter can provide a large variety of buffs. Output supporters can also play as a damage dealer. The supporter is usually operated as a separate system. Occasionally they can also be mixed with other tags. The third part is the most concerned about the best team in the game. First of all, the introduction of the lineup must be the three elements of protection, healing, and damage output. We choose according to these three points, there is no doubt to choose the tank for the protection. The tank's ability to take damage is much greater than other occupations, usually because of the terrain and the guard's tank skills. Most of the damage will be absorbed by tanks so that the general team will need only one guard. The initial free free star croc is very powerful, and pushing through the campaign with her is sufficient. Although the warrior with the luck steel set can also function similarly, this play is very limited in function, generally, we will not consider it. Secondly, there is no doubt that the healer role will be the recover, usually needing at least two, otherwise, the pressure on the team will be very large. Although sometimes suicide strategy is used, the supporter can also be used with the function card, transformed into a recover. Many non-recovers also have healing skills, but they have the same problem, very dependent on the function. The initial free humanoid Pascal is very strong, she can achieve 5 stars when the newbie test is done, so basically, a must train physician. Finally, regarding the attackers, because most functions are classified by occupation, the general damage dealer will choose the same occupation, such as two shooters or two warriors, of course. You can also choose one damage dealer and one support. Due to the limited resources in your early game, you usually need to stick to your choice to the end. The specific choice of shooter team, warrior team, supporter team, or mixed, mainly according to the individual pooling situation. The next part is the banner advice, this part is more subjective, you can take it as a reference idea. Because there is no PvP, it is still recommended that you play what you like. The three currencies are Quartz, Quartz Send, and Advanced Search Command, Quartz can only be obtained through spending, and the latter two can get from farming. The banner has two beginner pools, two up banners, and a regular banner. There is also a basic search banner which is not important to affect the game progress. Two beginner banners will be gone once used, special search banner can only get one free star in 10 searches. For the designated neutral acquisition banner you can choose one free star doll from the following list. Only one chance. You can get all free star dolls except Aki and Hubble. The Aki, Hubble banner and advanced search will share a free star guaranteed search in 60 rounds. Two up banners respectively to enhance the probability of Aki and Hubble, you can redeem one every 180 searches. This a reminder Aki is not in the advanced search. I recommend new players use the designated neural acquisition after you finish your pool. Then you can choose the one you don't have. I recommend everyone get Hubble as I suggested in my tier list video. She has super strong basic stats, super strong AoE, 
and versatile ultimate. Your game experience will be smooth if having her. If you don't get a free star healer from the pooling, I suggest you can choose Nanaka. The most important in the Neural Cloud is the survivability, not the damage, as long as the health is enough to sustain. Low damage is not really a problem. Nanaka AoE healing can be very good with Pascal and add arithmetic and damage bonus, which many supporters don't have. If you prefer Florence or Jin, you can also choose them. Florence is more towards single protection, Jin is similar but has different types of buff. If you have double healers and Hubble, the other shooter can be anyone. If you want to play the shooter team, you can actually pick free now or max, these are not free stars, if you don't like them. You can also choose Chan Zhi for her powerful AoE, but her single output will be weaker. If you want to play the warrior team, you can just give up Hubble and pull Oki. If you don't get V from pulling, you can consider picking a V. V's support ability is very strong. She can steal the enemy's attack damage, and the ultimate damage is very high. You also choose Centauri Evelyn, or Banksy. But I don't recommend Evelyn, for the tank, Croc is enough. Because the special doll is very dependent on the function cards, so Banksy is not recommended. Finally, let's talk about the early game push and infrastructure. The mainline 1.3 unlocks the expansion program, which is the novice task. Follow the program, you can get your Percy carrier to 5 star, and then the daily dungeon can give you 10 neural fragments. If you are not a whale, please do it every day. In addition, you can also play once a day to get the tokens of the vulnerability check, you can exchange a lot of supplies. And then there is a once per 2 week glitch protocol, by selecting the tech to enhance the ability of the enemy. In exchange for higher points, the major rewards are mainly from the points, free to play don't need to worry about the ranking too much. This mode will rotate and limit the strength of the dolls available each period, in addition to the daily weekly missions. The regular resource dungeons have two opportunities to earn double the amount per day. I recommend finishing daily. The last thing is the neural cloud of the equipment system, that is, the main part of the late game farming. Before you can get the gold algorithm set, you can just pick the set that is suitable for your doll. The blue and purple algorithm is not very important. About the algorithm I will make a special video to explain it, the beginners don't need to pay too much attention. Infrastructure is relatively simple, it has three parts, combat infrastructure, production infrastructure, and dormitory. The combat infrastructure is the strategic technology and electronic countermeasures. The former is to pass the endless exploration to obtain upgrading points, and the latter can provide upgrade points by using different dolls in the battle, the sub also count. Production infrastructure is the oasis. It is recommended to prioritize the headquarters and engineering bureau as soon as possible in order to produce prefabricated parts to improve the overall level of infrastructure. About 6 or 7 levels later focus on building several banks and processing plants. Although the search terminal can produce the basic search command, high-level facilities can also give you a small probability of a three-star doll. But the consumption of prefabricated parts is too much, it is not recommended to upgrade too early. The last is the dormitory, the doll living in the dormitory can gain favorability quickly. According to the comfort, you can also get a daily collection of experience value production material. Thank you for watching until the end, if you think this video is helpful please give me a like, and subscribe. I will make the various types of content of the neural cloud later on. Let's meet again. Peace out.